Arrests have been made in Spokane, where suspects allegedly looted empty homes located in evacuation zones. Plus, authorities have launched an investigation into a house fire in Pasco earlier this week. And folks, we have warmer temperatures today with hazy conditions and showers looming late tonight. I'll get you prepared my first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. I'm Jason Valentine. We've made it to Thursday. Yes. So oh, close to that weekend. Yeah, you can, you can smell it. It's so <laughs> close. But uh, we're having a little bit more smoke in our atmosphere, okay. but still it's pretty high up, so it's not affecting our air quality too much. It is having a bit of an effect, but we are looking much better than we did earlier this week, just not as good as we looked yesterday. Right. Here's what I mean. Let's take a look outside and we are pretty calm this morning and we're going to see that hazy sunshine as we start. But tomorrow morning at this time, we do expect to see pretty widespread showers. So our air quality for northeastern Oregon, and the Blue Mountain region, we do have moderate air going through in Yakima. You're just right on that edge of being in good and moderate now below or for moderate and good that is considered not to be unhealthy so we're still in a pretty good pocket and uh, that's all we see on the pretty much the entire northwest is either moderate or good air quality and that smoke is going to continue coming in hazy conditions today we're going to see highs warmer today mid 80s for yakima we're in the upper 80s for the tri-cities region that is uh, about 17 degrees warmer than we were just two days ago. Walla Walla in the upper 80s as well. So folks, we are getting ready for warmer temperatures, hazy conditions, rain returns late tonight. Of all that in my forecast, that's coming up. But for right now, let's send it back to Jill. Thank you, Jason. Evacuation levels are still changing for the Oregon Road fire in Spokane County. The fire is burning in a northeast direction away from the city of Spokane. And yesterday afternoon, officials downgraded some of the evacuation zones from earlier in the week. The fire is still considered 0% contained, with more than 850 firefighters working to get it under control. This fire has burned more than 11,000 acres since Friday. Well, there does seem to be some hope on the horizon for those impacted by the Gray Fire near Medical Lake. That fire is nearing 50% containment, although firefighters have been dealing with increasing wind. A lot of people in Medical Lake have been allowed back into their homes, although officials are asking everyone there to stay alert and stay out if possible. Tuesday, Washington Senator Maria Cantwell toured the wreckage of the Gray Fire. She thanked everyone for volunteering to help those impacted by the flames, as well as the Red Cross and first responders. The senator acknowledged the significant damage to the infrastructure and homes in Medical Lake, saying, quote, We will be working with the governor and our federal partners to get federal assistance for the Gray and Oregon Road Fire. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office has arrested two people accused of looting homes inside evacuation zones. Two people, a male and a female, who were over here from Tacoma posing as firefighters burglarizing our residences. We know in this particular case we have a car where a search warrant is being authored and there's what appears to us to be a lot of stolen property in it. The Sheriff's Office says someone in Medical Lake called 911 Monday morning to report a man and woman behaving suspiciously. That same afternoon, officers caught up with the couple and arrested them. The sheriff says they're putting strict limits on who's allowed into evacuation zones to try and prevent situations like this. Law enforcement is working and has roadblocks up in the area, and we are only letting residents who can prove that they live inside the level three evacuation zones back into those areas. Again, we suggest that you don't go into those areas. However, if you must, make sure you understand that you were going to be asked to have some sort of identification and prove that you live in that area. Both people arrested Monday were booked into the Spokane County Jail on residential burglary charges. The Sheriff's Office is asking everyone going back to their homes to make a report if anything is missing or damaged. The Pasco Police Department says it's investigating a Pasco house fire as a criminal act. The fire happened Monday just after 2.30 in the morning at the corner of Court Street and Road 103. The two people who were inside the home were able to get out, but the house was destroyed. According to the Pasco Police Department, there's evidence that suggests the fire may have been set intentionally, and they have made an arrest in the case. However, police are not ready to release details at this time. 
We will continue to keep you updated. This crash led to some travel delays in Benton City yesterday. This video comes from State Patrol Trooper Chris Thorson. He says the semi rolled over in the roundabout on State Route 225 in the westbound I-82 off ramp. The driver had minor injuries and no other cars were involved. The truck's trailer was hauling red wine. Yakima residents may notice increased noise and air traffic near the Yakima Training Center soon. According to Joint Base Lewis McCord, special operations training will take place at the Yakima Training Center at Lewis McCord and the Grant County International Airport in Moses Lake through the end of the month. It means you might notice more aircraft in the sky after dark. Soldiers will also use training ammunition to keep exercises as close to real world conditions as possible. The Yakima Training Center exercises begin tomorrow and run through next Thursday, August 31st. Coming up tomorrow, Apple Valley News Now presents the Great American Flag Swap at two Steve Hahn Auto Group locations. Just bring your worn or tattered American flag to Steve Hahn VW Kia Mercedes-Benz on 1st Street in Yakima or to Trucks Plus USA on Main Street in Union Gap and they'll give you a brand new replacement flag. The swap is 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. or until they run out of flags, so get there early. Find more information at applevalleynewsnow.com and thank you to the Steve Hahn Auto, Gro Auto Group. Tonight, Benton PUD is moving power lines that run next to the Apple Valley News Now station. This will interrupt power to our building for what they estimate to be about 12 hours. So we're not off the air for the full period. The utility has made arrangements for Apple Valley News now to be powered by a generator during the construction. Viewers will lose our signals for what we hope will only be an hour during the switch. Benton PUD has told us they expect to start the work around 8 p.m. So we anticipate being off the air tonight between about 8 and 9 p.m. This will affect all of our stations in both the Tri-Cities and Yakima including service on cable, satellite, and streaming. And we're sorry for any inconvenience this may cause. We'll return in just a moment, but first, Jason Valentine joins us live now for another quick look at weather. Folks, more sunshine, but hazy sunshine for your Thursday. And we do have some shower activity looming later on tonight. And we do have some moderate air quality in some of our cities. I'll get you prepared. My first alert forecast coming right up. And COVID hospitalizations are on the rise once again. How you can stay safe next on Good Morning Northwest. America, it's the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of Ford trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need. Lock in great rates and get 1,000 trade assist cash on a 22 Escape or 23 Bronco Sport. Only at your local Ford dealer. Does your bath or shower need a remodel? Bathfitter can do it all. We will remove your existing fiberglass tub or shower and replace it with a custom crafted shower or soaker tub. All made in America at our state of the art factory. We rebuild your walls with new drywall and install a custom made tub or shower with seamless walls in as little as one day. All work is guaranteed and built to last. Call your locally owned Bathfitter store now to book your free in-home estimate or visit bathfitter.com. Cut your ties to the fuel pump with an all-electric vehicle from Overturf Kia, your EV headquarters. You'll find a great selection of new vehicles in stock now. Save over $5,500 on a new 2023 all-electric EV6 Wind with all-wheel drive. Now just $48,549. Take delivery today or reserve a car that's on its way. Shop online anytime at OverturfKia.com. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. Smoke City for Less is your one-stop shop in Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, West Richland, and Hermiston. Every location is conveniently located. And now, Smoke City for Less Hermiston has relocated to North 1st Street by AutoZone. An easy turnoff, $3.95 and you are there. For the lowest prices and largest selection of vape mods, the best batteries, tobacco products, Kratom, and specialty products too. Open seven days a week, five locations, Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, West Richland, and the new location in Hermiston, off $3.95. Smoke City for Less. We smoke the competition. A successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side, and confidence in your real estate journey. Check out Columbia Basin Buildings and Sheds, your local old Hickory Sheds dealer. We sell and deliver a wide variety of buildings, including storage sheds, lofted barns, playhouses, cabins, and more. 
Come visit us at 3680 West Van Giesen Street in West Richland. Get our very best savings during the Labor Day sale at Moore Furniture. Everyone knows Moore is synonymous with incredible style at the best value. But our Labor Day sale offers a special opportunity for everyone to save big. Our latest fall collections have arrived and they're all on sale. Our best sellers are in stock and they're all on sale. It's the best time of year to save big and get your home ready for fall entertaining. Visit your local Moore Furniture where everyone buys furniture for less. America, come along with our adventure seekers, the Sanchez family, and discover summer with the Ford F-150. Lease a well-equipped 2023 F-150 for just $3.99 a month, only at your local Ford dealer. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back on this Thursday morning. Well, COVID-19 hospitalizations are on the rise and health experts are advising people to consider masking up again. In the last week, hospitalizations due to COVID have risen across the U.S. This comes as kids head back to school. Jen Sullivan has a look at the latest health threat and what you can do to keep your family safe. You may want to dust off those masks and keep them close by. That's because COVID-19 hospitalizations are on the rise. We're at this inflection point. Numbers have been going up. Mm -hmm. Weather's going to get cooler and drier. They're probably going to go up a little bit more. CDC data shows COVID-19 hospitalizations have been increasing since early July. But over five weeks, those numbers have nearly doubled to 13,000 new admissions. Earlier this year, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention stopped counting new COVID case numbers and instead relied on hospitalization numbers. That's why some health experts are now recommending people in high-risk categories mask up. There is some good news, though. Most of the country is considered low risk. But for people in the yellow or orange areas, the CDC recommends masking for those at higher risk, especially if you're elderly or immunocompromised. Health officials also recommend testing before seeing someone who is high risk and wear a mask indoors if you're with someone who has a greater risk of catching the virus. I recently visited my parents, for example, in Florida. I wore a mask. I tested ahead of time. Try and keep them safe. If you're experiencing COVID-19 symptoms or have been exposed, it's important to test twice. Sometimes people get that first test, think they're in the clear. That may not be the case. And if you do test positive, the CDC recommends staying home for at least five days because that's likely when you're most contagious. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. The CDC says based on preliminary analysis, at-home tests still work to detect new variants. They also urge you to check the expiration dates on those home tests. An opioid manufacturer is backing down on its promise to pay $1.7 billion to those harmed in the opioid crisis. Maling Krat Pharmaceuticals is one of the largest genetic opioid manufacturers in the U.S. It previously agreed to pay the money out over eight years to state and local governments and people who had filed lawsuits against the company. But in a regulatory filing this week, Maling Krat said it has filed for bankruptcy yet again, the second time in three years. The company is asking to now make a final payment of just $250 million. That request still needs to be approved by the bankruptcy court. The Justice Department filed suit against the company in 2019, charging that it knowingly paid illegal kickbacks as part of an elaborate scheme to make millions of dollars in stick taxpayers with the bill. Coming up, Congressman Dan Newhouse was in the Tri-Cities yesterday to speak on a few of the issues facing our community. And folks, I'll return with your first alert weather forecast as we slowly wake up on this Thursday morning. Folks, you're watching Good Morning Northwest. We'll be right back. To celebrate doubling my sourdough, Jack, I got doubles for everyone in the office. Yeah, All right, my double looks nothing like me, and neither does yours. HR. Hey. It's our wife. Order my classic or double bacon sourdough jack today. Watch me. Watch me tumble, jump, and soar. When our squad is on point, we own the floor. Dazzling stunts and dances are my jam. Pain once caused issues, but they had a plan. A life-changing brace with no surgery to fear. Activity without limits, one more reason to cheer. Watch me. Industry-leading scoliosis treatment at Shriners Children's. The most amazing care anywhere. Queensgate Gardens thanks you all for the wonderful support that you've shown us throughout this incredible spring season. We are truly honored to have such amazing customers like you. 
Come on down for any last minute summer planting and check out our amazing selection at our fruit stand. What are you doing out there? Taking the scenic route. I know this looks like a summer blockbuster, but this is a Nissan sales event tag. With five drive modes, this Nissan Rogue gives the performance of a lifetime. Now comes the real star of the show. Now get a low 419 per month lease or get 0% APR financing for 36 months on select road trims. Better hurry. These offers won't get a sequel. You got the shoes? <laughs> it brought up so many real emotions. <sighs> it got me. The idea behind the video was to show strength and power, even through heartbreak. A successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side, and end confidence in your real estate journey. This is where the big steps in life meet the small moments that make each day familiar. Where they have their first day. Where we share our favorite spots. Like you, we call this place home. We're here to help you take the worry about how you get there so you can focus on finding your way home. Find your way home in a new, used, or certified pre-owned vehicle from McCurley Mazda during Season of Discovery. In 18 years, Grant Gill will become an improv legend. That's why he's preparing for it now with health tips and wellness tools from AARP to help make sure his health lives as long as he does. The younger you are, the more you need AARP. Trust falls? Really? Ah, oh, come on, Jack. It'd be great for morale. If I wanted to raise morale, I'd offer a choice of two sandwiches plus curly fries, a taco, and a drink for only $6. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. I trusted you guys. Try my $6 Jack Pack today. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Wendemere Group One. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Thursday morning, everyone. Hope you're enjoying it so far. And folks, we're looking at, well, everybody's awake and we're looking at a nice morning this morning. But we do expect more haze as we move along into our day. Air quality, we've been keeping a close eye on it. Yakima has improved back to good, but they're right on that edge of good and moderate. Moderate air quality for much of the blues and into Hermiston. Now, moderate is still considered to be not unhealthy, so we're okay in moderate or in the good zone unless you do have air quality issues and our entire region is in either the moderate or the good and we do expect to see more smoke coming into our areas as we move into our evening hours and again most of it is in the upper echelon of our atmosphere so that is good not causing too much air problems but we're definitely keeping a close eye on it as winds continue to be coming in from the north starting today radar looking free and clear but that is going to be a different story when we get to late tonight look at these showers that are on their way very late tonight into early on thursday Pretty darn widespread as well. And we could see a little bit of thunder and lightning with this system. Look at the heavier cells coming in. So as we get to 5 a.m., again, Yakima, Toppenish, seeing some heavy cells there. Then it looks to be coming to an end. Pretty widespread showers as we get to 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Then that will move on and maybe just... Uh, a bit of showers or two at the end of it near the blues. Other than that, looking very nice for our Saturday. And it looks like showers, though, could return next week uh, on Tuesday. So we're keeping an eye on that. All right, wind speeds. We are light this morning, and we're going to remain light for the next couple of days. But again, these winds are coming in from the north, and that is going to bring uh, the potential of more smoke into our areas. But since it's very light, it'll be very slow and methodical, but we don't see relief coming until we get to Tuesday of next week. So whatever smoke comes in will be sticking with us for a while. But the good news, we don't have the high pressure system we had over the weekend and earlier this week. That kind of pushed down all of that smoke. So this is more dispersed into the air. So again, we're keeping close eye on the air quality. Hopefully it isn't affected too much. Current temperatures, we're either in the lower 50s and the more, uh, actually, my goodness, lower 50s for much of our areas, 49 for uh, Prosser, 46 for Ellensburg. So starting to get cooler and cooler in our morning hours. Today and tomorrow, we're going to be right around our averages for this time of year. Then we're going to be warming up and just right around those triple digits for Sunday. 
Monday, then a big cool down as we head into our next work week or after Monday. So folks, temperature is kind of all over the place. We are warmer today, mid 80s for Yakima, Toppenish, 83 for Ellensburg, over in the mid Columbia, mid to upper 80s. Connell is still uh, lagging behind uh, other areas in the uh, Blue Mountain region, mid to upper 80s. So folks, we're uh, again warmer today. And our seven day forecast, we have the rain starting late tonight and then warming up for your weekend. And again, folks, we're looking at a good chance of some shower activity in our next work week as well. So a little bit uh, of more showers than we've been used to. Showers tomorrow for the Tri-Cities, again, late tonight into tomorrow, and then returning on Tuesday with that very hot weekend ahead. So kind of these shower systems are gonna bookend very hot conditions and sunny conditions. Just keep an eye out today. Pretty nice day ahead, but keep an eye on air quality and the hazy conditions throughout our areas. The Tri-City Regional Chamber of Commerce held its membership luncheon yesterday with Congressman Dan Newhouse as a special speaker. Members of the chamber gathered to network with one another and hear about the latest news affecting businesses in the region. Congressman Newhouse addressed the fentanyl crisis, the 2023 farm bill, and the rising costs of gas and energy. When it comes to the cost of living, Newhouse says this is a challenge facing many families in the state of Washington right now. We've got to be more responsible, curbing the federal spending uh, to, to reduce the, the pressures on, on inflation so that people have, uh, so that we have lower interest rates and so we encourage more investment by small businesses, to keep people working, improving the economy. Those are the, the things that we've got to be able to do on the federal level in order to make things more affordable for people in the local level. People at the event also had the opportunity to ask the congressman questions on what was on their mind. We have more from Representative Newhouse later on Good Morning Northwest. The Yakima City Council is looking at ways to save money this year and next to prevent their general fund budget from falling short by more than $7 million in 2025 to 26. They've already made cuts to the in-home detention program at the police department and plan to cut some positions in other departments that have remained vacant for years. No decisions have been made about potentially closing a fire station and they're exploring the creation of a regional fire authority to fund fire services in the long run. City Council is also looking into other ways to fund services like community partnerships, taxes or fees. While many decisions about the future budget are up in the air, council members say they can't afford to wait around. There's an iceberg and we got to think about changing course. Uh, otherwise, when we hit the 25-26 budget, we will have a financial crisis that we're going to be dealing with. The Yakima City Council will be taking a closer look at the 2024 budget this fall and will continue exploring options for the 2025-26 budget. The Yakima City Council voted unanimously at Tuesday's meeting to work on rezoning part of the property at the Camp Hope Homeless Shelter to allow for a mental health clinic. Comprehensive Health Care announced earlier this year that they'd received a grant from the Washington State Department of Commerce to build an on-site mental health facility using repurposed shipping containers. But the land is zoned suburban residential, which doesn't permit things like medical clinics. That's why the council voted to work with Comprehensive and Grace City Outreach, the nonprofit that operates Camp Hope, to rezone part of the property so they can move forward with the mental health clinic. Be able to have a clinic in, you know, right there for them available uh, is very helpful and also probably helpful in getting them interested in participating in services uh, while they're in, you know, experiencing homelessness and in the shelter. City staff say Comprehensive will still be able to build the facility while they work on rezoning, but won't be able to use it for mental health treatment until the process is complete. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, a couple from Washington are finally able to return home after welcoming quintuplets back in June. If something's missing in your morning without a McDonald's breakfast, then try a new bagel sandwich with fluffy egg, melty cheese, and your choice of a steak patty with grilled onion or bacon or sausage. Well, those will fill the void deliciously. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, 
and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT Turbo Max pickups or get $6,000 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your community Chevy dealers. Our phones keep us constantly connected. Please switch to airplane mode. But what if they had a mode to help us actually connect? Introducing Us Mode, a mode that makes our phones less distracting so we can focus on quality time. So the notifications we get are the ones that matter. So we're never distracted from what's most important. Visit US Cellular in-store or online to set up Us Mode for free, even if you're not a customer. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right, all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% zero APR for 84 months. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DOE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Hi, Jason Valentine for the Apple Valley News Now Great American Flag Swap. This Friday, bring your old tattered American flag to Steve Hahn's Volkswagen, Kia, Mercedes-Benz, or Trucks Plus USA, and in exchange, we'll give you a brand new flag as we celebrate America together. At Steve Hahn's Volkswagen, Kia, Mercedes-Benz, and Trucks Plus USA, we're proud to honor the American flag and take great pride in our commitment to the community. We invite you to celebrate the upcoming Labor Day holiday with a new flag for your home. Next ET, behind the scenes of John Cena's new sequel, our exclusive look at Vacation Friends 2. Don't threaten me with a good time. This is going to be great. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. I think they like each other. <laughs> I'm Charles. Lunch? Vanessa, I like lunch. Give in to deliciousness. Buy one craveable classic and get another one for a buck. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This newscast sponsored by Nissan. A young couple from Washington is counting their blessings, five to be exact. <laughs> Graham and Stephanie Friels found out that their wish no. of becoming parents was going to come true the day before Christmas Eve. It wasn't until their first ultrasound appointment in early January that they discovered that Stephanie was pregnant with quintuplets. Look at the attractive family. They moved <laughs> to Arizona after finding a doctor who specializes in higher order multiple pregnancies. The babies were born 13 weeks early wow. on June 4th via emergency C-section. The four girls and one boy oh. each weighed barely more than two pounds and spent weeks in the hospital's nursery intensive care unit. And last week, the final quintuplet was discharged. The Friels can now start their journey as a family of seven. Now that <laughs> little Adeline, uh, El Elania, Linia, Fisher and Harper are home. Ileana, I think, is Ileana? the one I was trying to pronounce. Right. So, according to the oh, well, according to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, only 29 of 3.6 million babies recorded in the U.S. were in 2020 were quintuplets or higher order multiples. Very rare. And what a shock yes. to find out quintuplets. <laughs> five. I mean, some people can't handle one, let alone five. <laughs> But uh, four sisters and one brother. Yes. That brother is either going to be, uh, <laughs> I think he's going to be really lucky. You know, he's going to have four sisters looking so. out for him. Yeah. But, uh, I'm glad they're all, they're all home now. Yes, that is wonderful. Yeah. All right, folks, let's take a look outside. I'll get you ready for your Thursday and my first alert weather forecast. And coming up on Good Morning Northwest, we take a look at some of the biggest takeaways from last night's Republican presidential primary debate. And officials named in Georgia's election interference case attempted to file bids to avoid arrest.
In today's Tech Bites, YouTube under fire. Child protection groups are demanding an investigation saying that YouTube is targeting children in its ads after promising it would stop. The company could face billions in fines if government regulators decide it's violating child privacy. A YouTube spokesperson said the watchdog groups have a fundamental misunderstanding of how advertising works. Google TV is expanding its free live TV lineup, providing users with another 25 channels. YouTube's NFL Sunday ticket is included in the new additions. Earlier this year, Google TV added several other free channels, including ABC. And finally, gamers can circle their calendars in anticipation of something big. Samsung is releasing the new Odyssey Neo G9 in October. It's a curved monitor, 57-inch LED display, the price tag $2,500. Those are your Tech Bites. Have a great day. Who says you can't get everything you want? Like going for bold without going broke. And staying true to your taste while staying on budget. Who says rising costs means lowering the bar? Settling? No need. Get the brands you want, the prices you want, whenever you want. TJ Maxx, where you can always afford to be you to the max. And squish, and squish, okay, good. Keep squishing, fingers relaxed. And squish, great. Thank you, good job. Squish the rainbow, taste the rainbow. YouTube TV is the new home of NFL Sunday Ticket. Oh my goodness! Being a fan has never been easier. Watch every game, every Sunday, with NFL Sunday Ticket and YouTube TV. Sign up for NFL Sunday Ticket now and get $50 off. The Republican presidential candidates went toe-to-toe -to -toe last night over abortion rights, U.S. support for Ukraine, and the type of experience needed to manage the federal government during the first debate of the 2024 campaign. And after bids from his alleged co-conspirators to avoid arrest were rejected, former President Donald Trump is expected to surrender to Fulton County authorities today. And folks, we have warmer temps today with hazy conditions. With showers looming late tonight, I'll get you prepared. My first alert forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. And I'm Jason Valentine. Welcome to Thursday, getting oh so close to that weekend. Yes. And this is the final weekend. Well, actually, there's a few college football games this weekend. Oh, okay. But the real schedule hits the week, <laughs> a week from this Saturday. You got to start a countdown. And then we're two weeks from this Sunday, from, well, fr actually from today, two weeks from today, the NFL kicks off. So oh, okay. Getting close to fall. I know you're excited. Oh, yes, it's very you exciting. love fall. I do love it. Let's take a look <laughs> outside. I'm semi excited about today's weather. It's going to be all right. Plenty of sunshine, but we are going to have hazy conditions as more smoke comes into our area. But the good news, there's no high pressure system like earlier this week, which is which kind of clamped down on the smoke and brought it into uh, our areas close to the surface. But since there's no high pressure system, it is going to be much more dispersed into our atmosphere. So hence the haze and hence our moderate air right now in the Blue Mountain region and in the northeastern part of uh, Oregon. So we do expect to be kind of oscillating between good and moderate for the next couple of days. And of course, we'll keep a, a close eye on if it gets any worse. So hazy conditions, mid 80s, warmer today as well. Tri-Cities area, about 17 degrees up from where we were just two days ago, 89 and 80, uh, 88 for Walla Walla. Again, folks, get ready for hazy conditions, and we have showers coming very late tonight. So, folks, I'll get you ready in my first alert weather forecast. That's coming up, but for right now, let's send it back to Jill. Thank you, Jason. Now to last night's presidential debate and the reaction this morning. This was not the debate most people expected. At the end of the night, the three candidates with the most speaking time were former Vice President Mike Pence, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Chris Christie. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, second in the polls, was not the center of attention. But did any of the candidates stand out enough to challenge the frontrunner, Donald Trump, who skipped the debate? ABC's Lionel Moise has the details. 
Sparks flew almost immediately after the eight Republican presidential candidates took the stage in Milwaukee, minus former President Donald Trump. As Mike Pence went after Vivek Ramaswamy, the 38-year-old entrepreneur who's been rising in the polls. Now is not the time for on-the-job training. We don't need to bring in a rookie. Now that everybody's gotten their memorized, pre-prepared slogans out of the way, we can actually have a real discussion now. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie also taking on Ramaswamy. I've had enough already tonight of a guy who sounds like chat GPT standing up here. On the issue of abortion, Haley and Pence were at odds over a 15-week federal ban. It's a moral issue. A 15-week ban is an idea whose time has come. Well, when you're talking about a federal ban, be honest with the American people. Don't make women feel like they have to decide on this issue when you know we don't have 60 Senate votes in the House. Trump's closest rival in the polls, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, sharply criticized how Trump handled the pandemic lockdown. And in Florida, we led the country out of lockdown. We kept our state free and open. On the war in Ukraine, Ramaswamy said he would forego giving more money to Ukraine. You have no foreign policy experience and it shows. And you know One of the more dramatic moments came when the candidates were asked to raise their hand if they would support Trump as the nominee. Whether or not you believe that the criminal charges are right or wrong, the conduct is beneath the office of president of the United States. ABC's political director Rick Klein says the candidates brought up Trump far less than expected. Vivek Ramaswamy took a lot of the incoming that might have otherwise gone to Trump. He was the most stridently pro-Trump. And so some of the ways that you saw Nikki Haley, Mike Pence, Chris Christie unload on Vivek Ramaswamy, it's almost like they were doing it to Donald Trump in, a, in, in his absence. Trump tried to counter-program the debate, appearing in a pre-recorded interview with former Fox News host Tucker Carlson, making more false claims about the 2020 election and attacking some of the other candidates. Line after the debate, taking issue with Pence's comments about January 6th and calling Chris Christie's performance last night horrible. A federal judge rejected bids by two former Trump administration officials to avoid arrest in the Georgia election interference case. The officials in question, former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and former Justice Department official Jeffrey Clark. They tried to block Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis from arresting them if they don't surrender voluntarily by Friday's deadline. Meadows has a hearing on Monday related to his effort to move the charges from a Georgia court to federal court. They're hoping to assert immunity, among other defenses, in a bid to get their charges dismissed. Nine of the 19 co-defendants have surrendered at the Fulton County Jail so far. Fifteen have reached bond agreements with prosecutors that have been signed by a judge. Trump himself plans to surrender today. Tuesday marked the first full day of the Tennessee special session. But it was not without controversy. One Senate committee scheduled to debate a bill about mental health and public safety tabled its entire agenda and adjourned in just in less than one minute. By the end of the day, only a handful of the more than 50 bills related to mental health and guns survived committee hearings. One state senator says they did not have enough time to look at every bill. Instead, they decided to wait until the next regular session in January to consider them. Members of the public were removed from another committee after holding paper signs which were banned in newly enacted special session rules. And later, the Tennessee Highway Patrol was ordered to clear the room after onlookers in the gallery clapped and held signs. This follows the expulsion and later re-election of two members of the so-called Tennessee Three state representatives who joined their constituents during a gun control protest in the state capitol. Jason Valentine is here now with a look at your forecast. Starting to see a little light on this Thursday morning. Folks, we have more sun, more haze, and some oscillating air quality issues. I'll get you ready for your Thursday coming right up. And more shoppers are choosing electric vehicles so far this year than ever. We'll tell you what's behind the rise in sales and what to know if you're in the market for an EV. David, did you remember to get me an anniversary present? Anniversary? Of course, it's Mattress Depot USA's anniversary, and we're having a gigantic sale. Take advantage of our best prices of the year. And interest-free financing. David, you do know anniversaries only come once a year, right? Yes, and if you miss ours, you'll, you'll be, be sorry. sorry.
prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Sweetie Pie? Yes, ma'am. I'm afraid this closet is full. Do you really need all of these shirts? I was waiting until I could fit into them again. And how is that going? Well, not so well. This closet isn't getting any bigger. How about we make some space? I guess I could pick a few out and... Good. Uh, donate them to Goodwill. Your donations to Goodwill support our local Employment Connection Center, a free walk-in job search assistance program. Good job. Goodwill. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, we believe in the healing power of a new smile, the way it makes you look and feel, the way a smile lights up a room, so people can see the best version of you, which is why we make new smiles affordable for everyone, so you don't need to wait another day to get your smile back. Scan the QR code to learn more or visit affordabledentures.com. Go ahead and smile. A successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process. With Windermere on your side, and end confidence in your real estate journey. Glad days are here. Our annual fall sales event is the best time to get discounts on LAD irrigation services and products. You'll find great deals on parts, pivots, projects, repairs, and more. From August 28th through September 1st, stop by any LAD irrigation location to take advantage of these once in a year prices, prizes, and snacks too. This is simply our way of saying thank you to our customers. Learn more at ladirrigation.com. Sink into summer savings with the living room of your dreams during the Labor Day sale at More Furniture. Enjoy the absolute best in luxury and comfort with this leather sofa featuring power head and foot recline for only $9.95. Or get this sofa with two dual power reclining seats, slide out cup holders and USB port for only $9.95, available in two rich color options. But hurry, these savings won't last. During the Labor Day sale, only at More Furniture. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back, everyone, on this Thursday morning. Well, more shoppers are choosing electric vehicles so far this year than ever. That's according to vehicle sales data from Cox Automotive, the global company behind names like Auto Trader and Kelly Blue Book. Cole Higgins has what's behind this rise in sales and what to know if you're in the market for an EV this year. A driving force for the future, sales of electric cars in the U.S. are breaking records, and experts say it's just the beginning. Folks should fasten their seatbelts because this electric future is taking off. The EV transition is underway. According to Cox Automotive, U.S. consumers bought nearly 300,000 new battery electric vehicles in the second quarter of 2023, setting a record. That's more than 48 percent higher than the same time last year, and more EVs than were sold in all of 2019. Cox Automotive predicts sales of fully electric vehicles in the U.S. will break 1 million vehicles in 2023 for the first time. We're starting to see those uh, electric vehicle sales numbers grow already. So we anticipate that all of this will line up. So what's driving sales? Experts say several factors like price cuts, a wider variety of available vehicles and more government and manufacturing investments, plus tax credits. Experts say the EPA's proposed auto emission rules could help electric vehicles account for up to two thirds of new vehicles sold in the U.S. by 2032. These rules are really you know, meant to help push the auto industry provides some of that certainty so we can get the investments in manufacturing and infrastructure that will help build out, you know, the supply of those vehicles. If you're in the market for an electric car, remember that through the Inflation Reduction Act, the federal government is now offering tax credits of up to $7,500 on some EVs. And Cox Automotive says this year's top selling EVs are all among the 18 percent that qualify for at least some of that tax credit. I'm Cole Higgins. And according to a consumer survey from Cox Automotive, the second biggest concern for EV considerers after price was lack of access to charging stations. Coming up, a major decision delays the trial of the man accused of fatally stabbing four University of Idaho students. 
And I'll return, folks, with your first alert weather forecast. Let me get you ready for your Thursday and a sneak peek at your weekend. It's coming up next on Good Morning Northwest. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Wendemere Group One. And now please welcome Anna Montoya. Hello there fellow students. Hi, I'm Bruce Schaefer. These are my sons, Gary and John, and we built this deck. Not quite, Dad, we need two more of these. You better call Par. No problem. I got Andrew on speed dial. Bar Lumber Sandrew. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Bruce. I need two more boards at Timber Tech. We won't settle for anything less than contractor grade. So we get all of our building materials and supplies from PAR. Problem solved. PAR, your total home building source since 1930. Go where the builders go. So what are you building? Set summer in motion with the most adventurous Honda vehicles yet, like the Pilot and Passport Trail Sport and the Ridgeline, built for better off-road performance and engineered for more adventure. This summer, create your own adventures with Honda, the most awarded brand in car and driver 10 best history. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. You ready? More than ready. Blue Compass RV has over 100 dealerships coast to coast. So we're with you today, tomorrow, and the road ahead. It's a little something we like to call peace of mind. Well, here we are, mile marker zero. More like mile 3,652. Blue Compass RV. Let's take the long way home. Hey fans, it's Eric the Peanut Guy from your Tri-City Dust Devils. Join us on Friday, August 25th for a special Vineros jersey auction presented by Roto-Rooter. After the Dust Devils play in their alternate identity as the Vineros de Tri-City, we will be auctioning off all game used uniforms with proceeds going to charity. Then on Saturday, August 26th, we put a bow on the evening with our spectacular post-game fireworks show thanks to McCacken Electric. For tickets, visit DustDevilsBaseball.com. Dust Devils Baseball, it'll blow you away. So Richardson family, the neighbors are very curious about your new family member. Oh, Robelizabeth? Hello. We built her when our daughter moved out so we could keep our family plan and save money. With US Cellular, you don't need a fourth line to get the best deal. It's just $19.99 per line for one, two, or three lines. Oh. I guess we don't need a fourth line anymore. This is awkward. Now at US Cellular, it's just $19.99 per line. US Cellular, built for us. Every business is different, but they all have one thing in common. Wouldn't it be great if someone took care of that for you? So you can concentrate on the stuff that makes you shine. Call us today and find out what we can do for you. Hutchbug Solutions. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Uh, good Thursday morning, everyone. Oh, we're getting close to that weekend. Slowly waking up this morning. We have more sunshine, more clear skies, but a little more haze coming into our areas as well. Air quality is on the edge right now for many of our cities. Yakima was just in the moderate zone. It's back to the good. The Blue Mountain region and Hermiston in the moderate zone, but still, folks, in the moderate or good zone that is considered to be healthy air, though you know moderate getting closer to the unhealthy for sensitive groups. But the entirety of our region is staying right in those two. So we do expect that to continue, even though we do have smoke in our areas and we continue to see it. We're keeping an eye on what is up to the north. If that comes in, that will change our air quality. But the good news is high pressure system is not part of the factor like it was for our weekend and Monday and Tuesday. So that means the smoke will be more dispersed. The high pressure system was pushing down the smoke near the surface in our areas. So hopefully we'll see better air quality, even though smoke is expected in our regions for the next couple of days. So radar is looking free and clear this morning, but that will change as we get to late tonight. Plenty of sunshine today, and then we're going to see shower activity start to roll on in, and we do have a chance of seeing some thunder and lightning with these heavier cells. That'll persist into uh, tomorrow morning, and then 
it'll move along and we'll look pretty nice as we head into the rest of our Friday into our Saturday, though we're keeping an eye on other little bits of uh, precipitation. So we do expect also precipitation to show up as we get into our next work week. So it looks like rain is going to be a part of our forecast for at least the next few days. So right now we are looking at light winds and the light winds are going to continue and they are coming in from the north for the next couple of days, if not into our next work week. So the possibility of more smoke from the uh, from the Canadian wildfires is definitely there and it looks like we'll blow it out as we get to Tuesday and Wednesday as winds do pick up. But still, folks, smoke is going to be a factor for at least through the weekend. But hopefully again, it's more dispersed. Hopefully that doesn't mean too much for our air quality. So right now we are looking at mid to lower 50s, upper 40s all across the land. So get a little chilly this morning. We are warmer today though. We're going to be right around our average for this time of years for all of our cities. So mid to upper 80s for most of our cities. They'll be back to the uh, 90s as we get into our weekend. Going to right be below those uh, triple digits for Sunday and Monday. Cooler in our next work week. Highs today, they are warmer. Mid 80s for the Yakima Valley. Uh, 83 for Ellensburg. Mid to upper 80s for the Mid-Columbia. Blue Mountain region, right around those mid to upper 80s as well. Seven day forecast for Yakima. And again, folks, we're going to be looking at shower activity tomorrow morning. Again, thunder and lightning possible. Much warmer for your weekend and then shower activity in our next work week. So we're keeping a close eye on that and a big drop from Monday to Tuesday. Tri-Cities area. Shower activity tomorrow morning and then mid to upper 90s for your weekend. Much cooler in our next work week. So folks, for your Thursday, we do expect plenty of sunshine. Just expect some haze to be a part of it. And we should be oscillating between good and moderate air quality. But that still is considered healthy air. Hopefully we stay there for the entirety of our weekend. We'll keep a close eye on that. But a semi-nice Thursday is ahead. New developments from Moscow, Idaho. The former WSU grad student accused of violently killing four University of Idaho students last November has now waived his right to a speedy trial. That means Brian Koberger will not go to trial on October 2nd as initially scheduled. Yesterday afternoon in court, his lawyer said they need more time to build their case. A status hearing is now set for September 1st. The court could decide on a new trial date then. Prosecutors say they want the case resolved quickly, but they also want everyone properly prepared for trial. Koberger faces the death penalty if convicted. When we come back, a FedEx driver delivering a package ventures a bit outside of his job description after he kills a rattlesnake he finds on a homeowner's doorstep. As summer winds down, make the most of it carefully and let's start planning for our next season. We have football, we have back to school, we have all kinds of outdoor sports, and we need to put our toys away. If you've been injured in an accident, find out what your rights are under the law. Buds and Blossoms 2 in Richland, servicing the full Tri-Cities. We design custom arrangements for birthdays, weddings, funerals, and just because. Stop into Buds and Blossoms 2, home of the big white dogs, at 1310 Jadwin, Richland. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, we believe in the healing power of a new smile, the way it makes you look and feel, the way a smile lights up a room, so people can see the best version of you, which is why we make new smiles affordable for everyone, so you don't need to wait another day to get your smile back. Scan the QR code to learn more or visit AffordableDentures.com. Go ahead and smile. Competition is getting hot. Tonight, Generation Gap has juniors and seniors breaking a sweat. Give us the first name of this famous Simmons. Simmons Frizzy Hair. Kelly Ripa hosts Generation Gap, tonight on ABC. Hi, Jason Valentine for the Apple Valley News Now Great American Flag Swap. This Friday, bring your old tattered American flag to Steve Hahn's Volkswagen, Kia, Mercedes, Benz, or Trucks Plus USA, and in exchange, we'll give you a brand new flag as we celebrate America together. At Steve Hahn's Volkswagen, Kia, Mercedes, Benz, and Trucks Plus USA, we're proud to honor the American flag and take great pride in our commitment to the community. We invite you to celebrate the upcoming Labor Day holiday with a new flag for your home. Make your hard-earned dollars go further during the Labor Day sale at Furniture Row. Shop today, because the more you buy, the more you save. I saved 100 bucks. I saved 200 bucks. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend on living, dining, 
bedroom, and mattresses. We saved 300 bucks. Check out doorbusters while they last. Plus four years, no interest. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. The Labor Day Sale, on now at Furniture Row. Wow, you really made our dreams come true. Life's better when you're under our roof. It's... Because when you feel totally protected, you can enjoy the dreams you've worked so hard to achieve. I guess that's what American Family Insurance is for. He's the wise twin. I'm talking about Save up to 23% when you bundle home and auto with American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. As summer winds down, make the most of it carefully and let's start planning for our next season. We have football, we have back to school, we have all kinds of outdoor sports and we need to put our toys away. If you've been injured in an accident, find out what your rights are under the law. Live with Kelly and Mark, today at nine on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back everyone. Let's take a trip closer to home and folks, we've got some haze and some sunshine expected today. Rain showers though coming late tonight. Our highs, we are warmer. We're right in those mid to lower 80s for Kittitas County. Over in the lovely Yakima region, we are in the mid, pretty much mid 80s, a little cooler than that Over in the lovely mid Columbia, it's all lovely, Jill. Mid to upper 80s across the board and in the Blue Mountain region, we are a little cooler for some places. And Boardman, what are you doing, guys? 80 degrees? My goodness, this isn't Wednesday. But other than that, we're in the mid to upper 80s for the rest of our regions, even warmer into our weekend. I'll get you ready for that and showers coming late tonight coming up. A FedEx delivery man is being hailed as a hero for going beyond the call of duty by taking on a rattlesnake. CNN's Jeannie Mouse reports. Some FedEx delivery guys just deliver packages, but this one delivered mortal blows to a rattlesnake. A rattler that took the welcome mat a little too literally at Christy Jones's Nebraska home. How do you feel about snakes? I, I like snakes. But when Matt Govier dropped off a package, uh-oh, it was the noise the rattler made that alerted him. Oh, When he calmed down, Matt took photos of the rattler. Since no one was home, he went to the garage and came back with a rake and a spade. The deed was heard, but not seen. Basically, you just whack him with a shovel. Yeah, kinda. Matt was not eager to dwell on it. He removed the snake with a rake. I hope that's the only time I have to do that. He texted homeowner Christy Jones saying, I hope you didn't have a pet rattlesnake at your front door because I killed him. Matt added, sorry about the blood. Christy was very grateful. Her kids use that door all the time. She posted, I nominate Matt Govier for FedEx Employee of the Year. As for Matt's boss, I sent a picture to him and I told him I needed hazard pay. Not happening. He just got a raise. Matt immediately spent some of it on a snake grabber on eBay. So if there's ever a next time he can remove the rattler without hurting it, if snakes give you the willies, you'll appreciate Matt's gesture of relief. Me shaking the wheelies off. Federal Express. But an absolutely positively. Cannot be there overnight or ever. Genie Mouse, CNN. New York. <laughs> well, that's very brave of him. <laughs> very brave. My favorite part is he let the family know. Yeah. I don't. I hope you didn't have a pet rattlesnake. Yeah, I would hope that's not your pet. <laughs> <laughs> so it was very cool, and I'd have to get rid of the willies. Yeah, as well. me too. I have to after that. After that yeah, story. <laughs> yikes! All right, folks, quick look outside. I'll get you ready for your Thursday.